what's going on. Um, I didn't get to uh, do the video yesterday because I had a couple things going on. And by the time I got situated and I had to go pick up my wife, um, I, 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 I was about to go out. You know, I'm just now getting my back back together, um, getting that recuperated, getting that rejuvenated, getting that back up, strengthened up so I can be able to do things around my uh, my yard, my kennel, and all that good stuff, man. But uh, just, just coming to talk to y'all, you know, about, you know, <clears throat> when, when we get these dogs, man, we got to we, we gotta learn how to, you know, be more prepared mentally when we get them. And not saying that because, and, and I'm not picking on my nephew. I ain't trying to, you know, chastise him in not any form or fashion. Not even trying to take it there with him because I understand he's inexperienced. He just wanted a dog because he reached out to me when I had the litter about a year ago. Um, it was like, you know, Uncle Sean, I want one. So I sold him to him for 150 shots, paper, and all that. Because, I, again, I keep telling y'all, it's not about the money to me. The money will come eventually, especially if you're selling a uh, good product, a good material, um, vice versa, which I'm selling a good bloodline, a good strand of dogs, you know. So, um, but anyway... Like I said, and I told him specifically, I said, um, I said, look, nephew, when this dog get a certain age, you take, you take uh, him out with that female. Because right now, when, when, he, when he purchased them from me, they were like, uh, I think they were like, probably say three months and a half, three months, maybe four or so, I want to say. And maybe four and like I say the dog you know the male he before his genitals start you know coming down or his nut sack start coming down to be about six months and so like I say I, I think she was probably like nine months I guess whenever she came in heat but anyway he he kind of you know let him get stuck and I told him man take him out way before he even got the dog we talked about it. and I told him numerous of times about let him take this dog out because they can have, you know, uh, puppies. And all it took is one stick. They got stuck one time. She ended up having, like, I think 12, three passed away. I don't know, due to, you know, um, something happened to him. But, you know, but I was with him the whole way. But anyway, like I said, I'm not here to chastise him. I'm not here to to uh, say he's irresponsible because we all got to learn. We, we, we all got to learn. I mean, especially if, if no one's there with you step to step to try to teach you how to, you know, but when I tell you something, you should be able to respond to it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, again, he's young. He ain't number 18 years old. I think 18 because he just graduated last year, so he should be going on 19. But anyway, real good kid, man. Just he go to work, come home. You know, he like to ride dirt bikes and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, but it all of this is carelessness, carelessness. So, that's, I'm getting tongue-tied. But uh, anyway, that's all it was. So, like I said, again, I'm not trying to come over here and, and tongue uh, and um, chest ties or anything like that or whatever. But what I wanted to say is, you know, these are the type of breedings that, that sometimes that I never thought about doing. But I definitely wasn't going to do it. The only reason I want to do the, uh, the brother and sister breeding because... Number one, I wanted to bring back back and forth off the mother and the father. Go back on both sides, which it'll go back their mother on her side, which be the Sinclair uh, Slim Jim stuff, and then it'll go back on my side, which be the Lackeys uh, Brick, Lackeys Cuddle, Lackeys uh, uh, Diego, all that stuff. So I wanted that white looking color to come back. So uh, that's what it did. It brought the white stuff, a lot of the white colors with the cow patches and all that stuff brindle cow patches and you know chocolate cow patches and uh so that's why i did it but i wasn't expecting to you know have some more puppies that come right around probably like you know almost a year from now you know what i'm saying so but i told him i said look man i'm here for you i come and help you you know i shoot the dogs up for you and i help you get them sold because like his mom already said he can't keep nothing so <laughs> So he, I was gonna buy two back from him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just to, you know, keep it and preserve it, preserve it, you know, or whatnot. He was like, nah, you can have two. So I said, all right, I'll help you sell them. So uh, we'll be definitely having some, but it's a lot of white ones. There's a lot of 
uh, tick looking colors like them them some of my old school colors when you see them um, so this this breeding pretty much you know I never would have thought about doing doubling up on a brother and sister which is uh, I think Goya Bean she was a, a brother sister back to back like that she was a brother and sister her daddy her grandparents were the brother and sister and her daddy and her aunt was a brother and sister back to back like I said I wasn't definitely planning on doing that because I understand the boundaries I understand the, the limitations of, uh, of doing um, you know heavy inbred and like I say some lines can take it some lines can't but that wasn't my main focus to even try to do anything like that or see anything happen like that but now since it's presented to me I'm going to take advantage of it I'm going to take two I don't know if I'm going to take a boy and a girl. Probably that'll be a boy and a girl or two girls. Um, it'll definitely be something that I can use down the line to, to have all them dogs uh, that's down up in that pedigree because it's going gonna, it's gonna to go down 50% all the way down to eight eight dogs, 50%. So that'll definitely be good when you got 50 all the way down to eight dogs because you got all the good dogs in, in front of them and it's going to start off with it's going to, uh, uh, you know, start off with them two as far as um, 50%. Then it goes back to their parents, which is, is, is uh, Ralph and Bella. Then it goes back to their parents, which is um, a Lackey's Brit and um, Sinclair Jade and then so forth. But, um, yeah, man, uh, so like I said, man, I wanted to do the video. But anyway, nobody wouldn't think this breeding right here, see, we do uh, sometimes um, these breedings uh, happens happens um, you know whenever you're not um, kind of what I want to put this when you're not um, censored to do it you know when you're not alert to do anything these are some of the best breedings that could take place um, you know like I say I'm definitely going to uh, take two pups out of it and then use it later on down in the line you know i ain't in a rush to use nothing and, and who say to know how these dogs gonna turn out because you know when you do heavy brood some of these dogs you gotta wait on them they they sometimes they come out hot early sometimes they come out hot in the middle and then sometimes they come out hot longevity a lot of people don't want to wait for that longevity that's why they don't like brood stock but i love brood stock because you get the pull back from 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 that old stuff even though these dogs are deceased they gone, but in that one particular dog or them, that litter of dogs, you got all them great, you know, the grandparents or the great grandparents down up in there. You know what I'm saying? That made the foundation dog. So that's why I like it. That's why I'm going to take it. And, you know, like I said, man, I'm not here to try to chastise my my um, my nephew. Just a little bit of uh, uh, carelessness. That's all it was. And, and sometimes that, that cleric carelessness can can produce good dogs which you don't even know like i say all these dogs um that they come out because the male the dad which is uh jay walker and the mom her name bella bella um so that bella been been in the, in, in the name uh the family for a while family especially on my side of dogs has been in, the, in my family but you don't know how these dogs gonna come out he's he's a nice size probably I, my nephew probably got him around about I say about 40 something. She's probably about 37, maybe 36, you know, before she even got um, uh, impregnated with these puppies. Um, so, and she's holding her weight good. She's doing good, man. She's very friendly. Um, she's very temperament. You know, me personally, I like that balance. Uh, like I say, uh, these dogs haven't showed no high prey drive because they haven't seen a dog coming back in the yard. I don't know how they may act. Especially the male, he's very friendly when you come out. He's not trying to, you know, get you or nothing like that. He's very friendly, but I don't know. See, he's them, them dogs, they still puppies, they sell. So you don't know how he's going to turn out. But me, I'm going to take a big advantage of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, get some things in perspective as far as taking these two puppies and, and using them uh, in, in my program. And, uh, you know, and just take advantage of the opportunity, man, because, like I say, that that, that wasn't in, in, in my title. That wasn't in my resume to, 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 to have any puppies out of them. Now, I was going to try to breed back with the male, 
or maybe ask him, do he want to bring the female to something, you know, my yard or whatever, but it didn't happen like that. So, um, unfortunately, uh, he'll be able to learn from this and, and uh, you know, go the right way. Because right now, I told him he need to go ahead and get these dogs a collar. Get, I mean, get the dog a collar and keep them away from each other. So when she come in heat, he keep her in there and that'll keep away the other dogs. I mean, it was a good idea, but then, you know, then it was a bad idea because he kept them in there too long. So, you know, like again, like I said, I'm not here to chastise. I'm just here to talk about, you know, how easily things can get if we so car car carelessness, if we had carelessness. If we don't pay attention to what we got going on. And that goes for the for the ones too that's been around these dogs a long time. You know, like me. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say something too, because um about my situation. Uh I'm gonna say something too, you know. I'm getting ready to work on this, uh my my I I, I rent this for my neighbors, they own all this right here, so I'm just telling you what I'm doing while I'm coming to work. And when we take this off, they're gonna Pay me to get this off, so take my time trying to get the majority of it off. Uh, they gave me some tools to do it, so I'm gonna try to make some things right. I think I'm gonna start with this first, but this will be easy to start right here because it ain't too many screws on this side. So I'm gonna try to start with this first and then see how that goes. So I'm gonna try to get out of here probably about no more than about at least 11. 11, 12, I got my daughter with me, so I mean, she in the car sleeps. So I'm going to let her sleep long as she can, and we're going to go from there. So I said I'd do the little video today. But anyway, I'm going to tell you about my situation. So I was working real, you know, real long hours, man. Uh, I was working long hours um, at uh, Ready Mix. My old job, which I'm going to go back to. When they, when they get my application and everything situated and everything, I'm working long hours, so I really didn't have time. And I was telling y'all beforehand, I need to make time to put in place for these dogs. Because in order to be top of the line, in order to be able to be on top of your shit with these dogs, man, you got to make time. You got to make time, man. And I'm telling you. And so I wanted me a job to where um, I could make time and still make the, the, the same challenge and money that I wanted to make, but they didn't, it didn't work in my favor. Uh, so I had to go back to my old job, which is cool. It's fine because you always got to take a step back, maybe two steps back to take four or five steps. So I'm cool with that. But anyway, <clears throat> so my, my carelessness was whenever I had, when this this how I knew, um, and it ain't like like I had time. I just didn't have the funds to get the, the, the to to get the kennel at the time. But anyway, Obsidian he bred to his um, his uh, second cousin, which is Jules. So they got stuff. Them puppies turned around three. I think they were like three and a half months, four months. I'm gonna just say three and a half. I think they was right around that. Um, so man, my dog Lido, man, he was really wrecking. When I say wrecking them, and I came back, and so I lost uh, some dogs around that 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 following winter, cause they was like around about three, at three and a half months, almost going on four, maybe five. I think it was somewhere like that, if I if, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, but anyway, a couple of my um, he he killed them due to you know uh, injuring them. Letting them stay in the same cage. And, and the craziest thing about it was I had this brood stock. All the brood stock stuff that was in the cage. All of them. Ben 10, Reuben, uh, all his siblings. Plus, their half sibling was on the top because they had the same daddy. Jules uh, litter that I bred with their dad. And she was in there. All of them was in there. The only one that was just fighting was the little pup that I had that came out of Jules. And her and Ben 10 would scrap a little bit because she was a little bit mean. But other than that, they wouldn't get in nothing where they, they would try to hurt each other. But Ben would say, look, man, I'm taller and I'm bigger than you. You can't really mess with me. So, um, but anyway, I kept these puppies in there, man. They was just wrecking each other. So I had ones that I was going to keep because you remember in the video I said I was going to uh, uh, keep majority of these to see uh, uh, the percentage of what this dog producing. So he already let me know. This dog right here, Lido, which is, he's a very small dog. He no more than probably about, uh, he's probably about 28 pounds, maybe 30. 
30, maybe 30. And that's that's on a good day when I don't fed him. Uh, but he, he's nice, man. He's very high energy. I like the way he act. He, he's a little, just a slight skittish to other people like me. He gonna come up to me because I'm, I'm the owner. But everybody else, he backing off of. But see, that's one of the traits that the Lonzo Green with Eli Bolio comes from. I guess this comes from the heavy inbred. I've been trying to breed that out. And it takes time for you to breed stuff out like that. You know, it, it takes um, three generations to probably breed that out, maybe four. But you know what I'm saying? And so, and then you're gonna get some type of dog, they just gonna act like that because they got their own personality. But um, but anyway, man, that, that uh, like I say, that litter, they was really messing each other up. So that was my carelessness, keeping them in there too long together. But I was thinking, shoot, the brood stock didn't do nothing to each other. I could have kept these puppies in there. I was like, man, man, I was dead. I was dead wrong, man. And I lost, I lost some puppies for that and then the, the next litter I had was um, next litter I had was uh, the next litter I had was uh, um, that came out of um, Obsidian with his half sister Brittany, and man, you know we had some issues with that. The one dog, my cousin, he was gonna keep. Man, they was man, they came about that three and a half month old. Uh, uh, <clears throat> they started wrecking each other too, but I didn't let them do like the the last group. I, I I spread them apart, but like I say, one dog, my cousin, he was gonna keep. I was gonna let him get. You know, I was gonna sell him to him for like three hundred dollars. And um, he got out because down here in North Carolina, you can't, um, we got to go put you on some pants. Come on. You can't, um, you can't have a puppy on the chain until they six months. So we had like little crates with a dog house and little uh, cinder block on the back. But anyway, um, the black brindle, he got out, Lido killed him. So it was just a big see that's what i was saying man and i'm i'm just being a hundred with you the inexperienced part and you don't even gotta be necessarily inexperienced just something happens and you see it happen but you'll know how to attack it the next time you know what i'm saying and that's what it's all about that's why i say i made a video you gotta lose the game and that's crazy and i said all of them all them dogs that came out of all that litter with uh britney and obsidian all of them made the cut i swear on everything i love you got it well, um, but all of them made the cut. But anyway, um, the black brindle before Lido had uh, killed him or whatever, he punctured his brother, which was good too. But he was just a little bit bigger than his brother. And you know, most of the time when you got puppies in there together, they'll they'll gang up on. So anyway, he punctured his uh, his kidney because he was peeing out a little bit of blood. I took him home, tried to save him, but ain't nothing I could do. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, I don't know how long he was sitting there. Cause when I got there, he was just laid old, you know? So he laying in the sun and, you know, didn't have no water. Maybe if I would've got down there early, I could've saved him, but I hate that that had to happen. And things- Wait, wait, th why did we wreck the car? Yeah, it's all right, baby. We are coming over here to get you some pants, but you hate stuff to happen, have to happen like that in order for you to, you know what I'm saying? Get some things together, but start, certain stuff gonna happen. So we all gotta learn from, from certain situations so um but anyways like i said hold up for a guy for a minute guys i'm gonna i'm gonna get her situated so we can go back out here um put her on some pants socks and her little boots and so uh we're doing some some spring we're gonna well we're kind of doing some cleaning up for her um her birthday party this weekend so she'll be a big four and uh she want to do what daddy do so so I can get back on topic. Yeah. So my birthday gonna be this weekend. Come on, put your pants on. But really, man, I hope y'all having a good week. It's Tuesday, man. Um, trying to get some things in perspective for us. Get 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 back in the flow. Getting this, you know, getting this back back together.
Guys, I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on, put it, take off that. No, you don't need to take off this. No, we're going to keep on this. So take that, take that shoe off. I'm going to find you. Uh, I'm coming, guys. Coming, coming. I'm coming, I'm coming guys, I'm coming. Trying to get her, she was asleep. I didn't know how long she was gonna be asleep. So. Yeah, man, so I'm trying to get some things in perspective, clean up a little bit for a birthday party, get the yard and stuff cleaned up. So I got the next couple of days to do so. So I'm gonna make, try to make that little bit of money over there. All right, now we're back. But anyway, um, like I said, man, I learned so much from from that incident. Um, um, out of that last litter, man, letting them stay together and letting them live together. But I didn't think they were gonna turn out like that. So then that. That that really gave me an eye to to really just open up like man you just gotta start really breaking up and see the craziest thing about it this litter that I had before put your boots on get them um, last litter out of them it was bred with a different female so really um, it was bred skies the limit obsidian they don't even act like that they don't even try to fight each other like that but then when them dogs getting rowdy or somebody getting rowdy with them what. Um, they don't act like that amongst each other. Not saying they wouldn't. They don't play and got a little rough, but they ain't like the last litter. But they still gonna be good because when a, when a dog get, blah, 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 that's when they get hyped before. You know that's that side. Um, that's when they'll 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 start getting intense and they'll start acting. But anyway, like I say, I, I was my careless listeners came the same way get on the other side and get it uh you know having them dogs in there too long so you know it's just a lot man that you can learn and you got to keep learning as you going on especially if you want to be 
call yourself this a dog man or a reputable dog man or whatever however you want to put it you know you, you got to be on top of your game whenever stuff happens like that so and the only way you're going to be able to learn is uh um just do uh certain situations certain circumstances that may come and sometimes you 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 you, you handle it, but you don't handle it the right way. So stuff happens, you know, just like I said, them incidents happen here, here. But anyway, man, we all still trying to learn just as well, like I say. And um, that was my part of my situation that I had to tell y'all about, which I ain't afraid to tell y'all about. I kept them in there too long. And and uh, the last female that I liked, she was going to be real thick, man, real thick. And she was the only one um, that really wasn't, wasn't acting, she would act like that, but just on a certain time, you know, so Big Mama and uh, my little dog Light, as soon as I let him out, they jump on her, pow! But then she started getting to where she started acting like, you know, I'm my high prey drive coming out, so that same, I don't know if it was that next day or that next week or two weeks after that, you know, her mama ended up going to her, she got loose somehow, Man, and um, so I lost her. Mama ended up killing her, so it was just a lot. So I was still able to keep the three that, that was out of the litter. Well, how many? Well, four. One in South Carolina. I got one going up to my 24-hour, two going up to my 24-hour guide, and I kept one. And the rest of them, man, they got, oh, yeah, and then my man's, he got one from, from, from my hometown. So five, five made it that live and then three got killed so out of that litter but man it's, it's just a lot so don't put it up there in the sun no 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 don't put it in the sun Why? because it's gonna get hot you're gonna put it right here let me see if i got your cheer but uh but yeah man so we we all sometimes have carelessness sometimes to a certain extent and you gotta learn from that stuff you gotta bounce back from it you know so um me personally I just don't try to get so emotionally attached to when, when I lose something because because if you do, then that, that, that means you're going to start wanting to quit. You're like, man, damn, I don't put all this energy in this now. I don't have this good dog to die. You know, and it could be some of the smallest things, you know. So, um, but you just got to keep your head up, man. Because you just imagine how many uh, great litters that they were. And, and, and didn't uh, get to make it due to certain things or certain situations that the breeder didn't do back in the day. So, like I said, man, it's, you know, it's it's just one of them things, man, that you have to be willingliness, have that willingness to be able to learn and keep on trying to improve in, in, in your breed and your strength and keep on searching for certain stuff. Uh, so, you know, um, but it, it's a lot, man. You got to keep doing your homework. You got to keep, you know, staying on top of stuff. Um, because if you don't, then you're going to lose. You're going to lose sight, man. You're going to lose really, you're going to lose sight on what, what, what you really want to do. And once you, you know, kind of lose that sight on what you really want to do you ain't interested no more so that's why i don't really get so emotionally attached to uh certain things that may happen there's certain things that don't really go in my favor certain things that 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 i could have done a little better i'm just learning for them and keep moving on so that's all i'm I'm, I'm doing just learning keep moving on and that's what you have to do and that's what i really don't learn over the out of them last two years Cause like I say, man, out of his last two litters, a lot of, a lot of them dogs could have made the cut, man. I'm telling you, they really could have. Out of out of out of two litters, out of eight, he had 16 dogs. And I ain't gonna say all 16, but I'm just saying, shoot, out of 16, I probably say a good, probably, maybe, just say I'm gonna just I'm gonna just even it up, cause I ain't even gonna try to put nothing. Um, just, just hype myself up like that. Just say eight could have made it possibly nine out of them two, uh, uh, them two litters he had, uh, you know, that I seen. I'm sitting there evaluating. Like I say again, and when I tell y'all guys this, what, what another man's, uh, 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 see, he might not see what you see in your own, you know what I'm saying? 
uh, uh, strand. Or he might say, man, I wouldn't do it that way. And um, that was another topic that I really wanted to get on, you know, because every, every good advice ain't a great advice. And, you know, a lot of times, man, when you have um, certain people uh, that you get advice for, you think they're going to really give you a good advice, man, and they don't, you know, and it's something that you may not want to hear. And, and, you know, like I said, uh, Be careful up there. I will. You may not want to. Uh, you may not want to take advice from everybody else because everybody don't got your best interest, you know, and that's the one thing I learned from my homeboy. Everybody don't got your best interest, you know, so, and when that happens like that, man, you got to stay away from them type of guys because they'll, they'll, they'll ruin, they'll ruin your, your confidence. So they'll say some stuff like that. I don't think you need to. You know, I don't think you need to add this blood to that. Or I don't think you, I don't think you need to uh, 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 do this uh, or uh, do that. Yeah, I need that. You know what I'm saying? So you can't let these guys ruin what you got going on. Like me, on the other hand, I would never tell somebody like they get a dog for me, and um, they get a dog for me, and I tell them, man. Uh, uh, what blood I think that'll go good with it. And I always tell them, man, look, I tell them either go, if you don't go back to what I tell you, like, you know, the bulls, the wild side or whatever, I said, go back to a purebred dog, like a, a pure carver or a pure folio tombstone or something that's pure. Go back to that. And, um, you know, and you, and you see where them traits matching up at. And once they match up, and even if sometimes they don't match up, Sometimes you can add something that, that, that one bloodline don't have. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's another thing. But uh, like I say, man, I hope y'all. Ah, some of these won't come off. But anyway. But um, I always tell people to add and do what they want to do because you can't, you know, me personally, when you get something from me, um, I'm going to tell you which, which way that you can go and which way you don't need to go. I tell people to study, man, study that line, you know, study that line before you incorporate two, two families. First, study it. It does. It got some dogs back up in there that you see that might be kin and they might be way down the line. Um, then again, you may have something where you're not kin, but they have traits that can match up with your bloodline that you like, or your bloodline might be missing out on something. So just do your homework, man. But anyway, that was my pretty much my video for the day because I took a lot of time on <laughs> getting her situated, but that's my heart. That's, that's my everything. You know, she, she comes first and foremost, and you know I'm out here trying to make a little dollar or whatever, do this for my... For my for my uh, for my landlord or whatnot, they they really really good good people, man. They really they own this. They let us go down there and fish anytime we want to. You know what I'm saying? So you can't beat that. I don't try to buy that little part. They don't want to sell it. You know what I'm saying? They definitely don't want to sell it. I might can be able to talk to her down the line. I might have to groom groom her in. But anyway, man, um, I'm gonna get out of here. But uh, like I say, I'm definitely gonna take two pups out of that. And um, like I say, my nephew uh, carelessness um, can produce some of the best dogs. So hopefully this litter come out good. And I always like to stay in contact with people we're going to sell the dogs to, just see how they're doing and seeing how they're acting, seeing how they look. So that way I can jot down notes for myself and, and put it in, in, in my program to see what I need to do a little better. And then sometimes, you know, you don't need to add or you don't need to take away. Um, so, but anyway, man, all will kennels of the Carolinas, man. Uh, you know, we just trying to do it right over here, man. The importance is um, keep being humble, keep being humble, keep maturing, keep being, uh, 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 you know, uh, keep growing, keep the growth, keep development. And you want, you know, you'll have success, man. Like I say, and I and I don't be me personally. I don't be worrying about how many rates and I get off my video. 
I get people call me all the time, man. They're like, look, I love your content. And a big shout out to the people that love my content, man. I'm going to keep trying to do it the right way. Keep trying to tell you. If I can help you out, I'm going to help you out. That's just how it is. If, you know, you came to me if you need, you know, a dollar or two or you need to be fed. I'm, and that's how I was raised. I'm 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 a feed you. That's just how it works. That's just how it is. So with the dog game, if I need to feed you, and you you got a, a, a real hard or wanting to you know learn and take that and, and run with it, I I'm gonna give it to you. But uh, like I say, all wheels at kennels. Uh, um, all wheel kennels of the Carolinas at your services, man. We love you. Appreciate the ones that reached out to me about the dog saying this, that, saying that, and the up and coming ones. But uh, like I say, I ain't gonna put that litter. On, 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 till they get a little bit older, probably till they get about, maybe about, uh, I'd probably say about maybe, I don't know, I might wait to, I might wait to eight weeks, man, just do it that way, and don't put nothing, don't get nobody super excited, but then again, I might wait to four weeks, so we could try to get him sold, because like I said, his mama said he couldn't, he couldn't have them around, so the quicker I can start promoting these dogs and networking these dogs and get them going and, you know, put them in the right hands, the better off for him, the way he can make some money off of it, you know. So, like I said, it's a win for a win. That's why I'm here to help him. I ain't trying to chastise him. I ain't trying to talk bad about him. But I'm saying everybody don't have to go through that phase of where they had the carelessness uh, that was, you know, running until they were able to learn. But all right, man, y'all be good. I did like 40 minutes. And so that other about <laughs> seven, eight minutes was, you know, trying to get her situated. But... I could have been talking some more, but uh, but yeah, man, y'all have a wonderful rest of the week, man. We're gonna try to prepare, get things in perspective, and keep 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 grinding, keep growing, and keep loving, man. These the this breed and, and show why this breed is, is the best that ever done it. All right, peace.